Hey guys, it's Adam E.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. This is the weekly Sunday night stream, and we're going to get right into it. We have a new group of you guys out there, the viewers. I cleared out the friends list, of course, and uh, got a bunch of you in here. This is Swimming Bird 941 is the uh, Nintendo Network ID. Obviously the channel as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is for Smash if you want Splatoon. That's Swimmy Bird with a Y. Different friends list. We do have a ton of you guys already added. Spinel, familiar face, Joshua Dude as well. So let's get into it. I think I'm going to warm up with Ness. I've been practicing him a lot more often recently. I kind of switched over to Lucas for a while of the two Mama's Boys. And uh, I don't know, I've been going back to Ness a little bit. His recovery still leaves a lot to des be desired because I missed the rope snake that Lucas has. But I do like uh, the added power and combos and everything that Ness has at his disposal, and of course that back throw. I can tell someone's trying to join. Yep, <laughs> I was gonna say, because it's not starting the match. There we go, okay. So we're gonna get right into it. And there are still spots left. I will add people after the stream, but for now, we've got a bunch of you already ready to fight, as you can see from everyone trying to get in here. Here we go. Spinel is playing as, I think he plays a lot of pit, but he's playing as, uh, as, ooh, Ike here. Jeez, oh jeez, well. We're going to have to adapt. Uh, <laughs> that's another bad part about Ness is that his recovery doesn't travel as far as Lucas's. I'm trying to get used to online, so hopefully we will warm up enough to actually be able to recover and uh, get out of the way of some of these hits here. Having some trouble starting out. I also have to be careful with my PK fires because obviously ooh, they're going to be slow enough where Ike might be able to run in and get me in the meantime there. Be careful. Yeah, his sword is crazy huge and has a lot of power and range. I forget what the name of that is. is it like, it's not Ragnar. That's from Dragon Quest. <laughs> I never played, uh, was it Path of Radiance? Is that the one? Mike's in a couple of them, I think, right? He, uh, Spinel was very, very kind to, uh, jump off and take his first stock after I lost mine by self destructing on, on a, uh, Thing that I should have been able to recover from, but I'm gonna blame that on the online latency. Let's get in here and now, uh, nope, not quite strong enough there. He tried to, tried to, tried to uh, counter there because he knew that I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna possibly go for a PK Thunder 2. He hit me with his, uh, man, I don't know a lot of the Fire Emblem characters' moves names. I think it's Blaze, it's Roy's, but is his like Inferno? I'm sure the, the Ike fans out there will be able to correct me and let me know. That was such a quick match. All right, but I did get warmed up a little bit. I might stick with Ness for another one just to see if I can do a little better in the next match, but I tried to go for his big noggin up air, but that wasn't worth the risk. It got destroyed by that. The hitbox on that, man, I should have clipped, clipped that out and used it, but I have a fight from, uh, I think it was after one of the streams I was using uh, Little Mac against somebody using Ike, and they had that B move charging, the, you know, the blue flames, and they, which I'll see in the chat what it's actually called in a second, but they, uh, they charge it up, and I was, like, several, several Little Macs above him in the air recovering, and it still hits, like, it has a huge hitbox, it's because you have to stand still and charge it up, it's kind of, not, not the, not the best move to throw out there, but if you use it right, obviously you're gonna do well with it as he did my buddy Spinel there in the last match. Okay, nobody has the correct move. Eruption, there we go. I was going to say Inferno. Enderman, thank you in the chat for, for letting me know. So Eruption is his B, the name of his B move. All right, but very similar to Roy's neutral B special. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm going to try to do a little better this time and not mess up that recovery. Like I did before. Yeah, so Lucas, his PK Thunder 2 travels farther, which I like. And he has the Rope Snake to deal with the likes of Rosalina and characters that can, you know, eat your projectiles, which is not fun. There we go. Oh, got to be careful with that. Yeah. Playing against humans, the uh, PK Thunder is not, or the PK Fire is not something you want to just throw out because it has so much end lag on it compared to a lot of moves. Oof, jeez. I forget who we're fighting this Mr. Cheese. Getting a little bit of a little bit of slowdown here, but I'm gonna try my best. Considering. There we go. 
Send him off of that away, and if that doesn't work, we'll just move away. Get in for some more hits. Yeah. I'm glad I've been practicing Ness a little more. And hopefully we'll do alright. Yeah, I, I, play a, I play a lot offline, so trying to play online is going to be a, uh, a learning experience every week to adapt to the uh, the changes. Ooh, jeez. Going in for those combos. Oh, well, this is not going to be good. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that is, that's the big reason I don't play Ness, especially online that often. Like I mentioned, I've been doing it a little more recently. But the fact that it's so easy to not be able to hit his recovery properly when you got to deal with, uh, ooh, with trying to time it so precise or else he's dead. Careful, buddy. There we go. Doing okay here if I can finish this stock up soon. Maybe we could take him out in time to uh, finish him off and then have our stocks equal. Oop, did not mean to do that either. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I'm having, <laughs> having some trouble here. Oh, there we go. Okay, a little bit more. Sheik is pretty light. If I can take her out. There we go. That'll be it. We're right at the edge. Okay, so this isn't undoable. You know, this isn't, yeah, unwinnable or anything because we have our other stock. Yeah, time in here is so tough online. You can see he's, he's punching it the wall, and I'm, or punching at, who is that, Dr. Shrunk down there? <laughs> and throwing out kicks. That's the, that's the one thing that the computer does, even offline, but something that works online, obviously. You just throw smash attacks out, you probably win a lot of the time, because there's not enough time to, uh, to, to block them half the time, because it's, the reaction speed is, uh, or you're reacting to stuff that's already happened, or is, you know, far off in the timing. Ooh, jeez. Sheik is not as good as she used to be, but she's still a good character, so I gotta play this right. Can't do the back throw yet, despite how strong it is. It's not quite strong enough to uh, take out Sheik that early. Oh, you wanna run into that? Yeah, I'm trying to, trying to be careful with my PK fires and not necessarily overuse it. It's a good move, but <laughs> especially for locking someone in. There we go. Get those grab combos. That's one of Ness's best things is uh, getting a lot off of a grab. Unlock that's, that's part of, yeah, any character that really works with grabs, very tough to play online because you got to deal with maybe those grabs not landing, but I got that one and that's what mattered in the end. <laughs> okay. Good fight to Mr. Cheese. I think I'm going to switch off Ness, because probably not the best character if he got a little bit of, you know, latency. Because I, I have to land those grabs, and I missed a couple of them there. All right. So let's see here. Cat fought. I think that's a new person. Trying to, trying to keep my eyes out for anyone that I have not fought in these streams before, because I want to give them a chance as well. I notice a bunch of familiar names, but I want to have some other people getting a shot. Okay, so go Ness go, says Game & Watcher. Thank you for rooting for me, having my back. Yeah, lots of people rooting for Ness. I'm, uh, oh, yeah, Enderman. I wonder if that's the same Enderman in the chat that knew Ike's move name. I'm going to switch over to Bowser Jr. just briefly, because I do have him in the thumbnail. I want to make sure he gets his shot. Maybe we'll go to the Mario Galaxy stage in celebration of, uh, the Mario Galaxy-esque uh, new Mario game that finally got revealed. There were lots of rumors about it, so I'm, I want to talk a little bit about the Switch. I'm sure a lot of you guys watched that trailer. I'll, uh, I put it in the description of the Splatoon stream we just had earlier, but I did not put it in this one. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it, though. It's got like 16 million views. If you want to hear more about the Switch, I talked about it for like a half an hour in the Splatoon stream that we just did. So please check that out if you're interested in hearing a lot of my thoughts. I'll kind of go into a few things, though, here. Like the fact that we do have a new Mario game that looks to be kind of a return to Galaxy 64 style a little bit. With maybe some 3D World mixed in there as well, which is cool. Oh, no. <laughs> He's got TM87. Does that mean... Which TM is that? I don't remember. We do have a Charizard here. We're going to get a nice close look at a lot of these moves with the way that this is... Slowing down a bit. Ooh, can I even time some of this stuff right? 
We'll see. And this will give me some time to talk about stuff. Oh! He hit me, but still got him at least a little bit. Oh! I think Charizard, probably one of the better ones to fight when things are a little slower, because even though he's uh, strong, he's his moves are more predictable. Ooh. Have a little Mecha Koopa, buddy. So anyways, uh, when it comes to the new stuff that we saw with the Switch, there was a lot of games revealed, like a Splatoon sequel port slash thing, you know, Mario Kart, Mario, we saw the new Zelda bit, and uh, there we go. But the, uh, the big thing that was missing that is probably still going to happen is the, uh, the Smash port slash sequel. I am fully fully believing that we're gonna get, you know, obviously every every system since the 64 when Smash was introduced has had a Smash Brothers. I don't think the Switch is gonna be any different. And of all the games that uh, that have had these, these uh, ports and kind of new, or sequels revealed that we've had, like Mario Kart and Splatoon, ooch, ouch, good job. I said ooch when I saw that. Uh, the, uh, the one that has been, you know, rumored by reliable sources that did reveal a bunch of the Switch info before it was revealed, they have said that, you know, the Smash Switch version has been in the works for a while, and, uh, oop, should not have rolled there. That, uh, oof, that, that is probably on the way, and I'm fully expecting a, uh, oop, backed up too far for me to hit that. Oh, jeez! <laughs> well, whatever works online, throw those, uh, flare blitzes out. Uh, but yeah, so I'm I'm expecting we're probably gonna get some type of announcement here. They, I think they wanted to avoid seeming like the new system was gonna have too many uh, versions of like games that were on the Wii U, whether they're enhanced or you know different. We'll have to that remains to be seen. Feels like they're kicking it into high gear now. Like they were they were messing with me before, and now they're they're doing all they can to defeat me. Oh, whoops, that was a bad idea. Nope. <laughs> well, they tried to pull a fancy Flare Blitz combo and it didn't work. So anyways, so to sum up about, you know, the Switch in relation to Smash Brothers, hasn't been confirmed, but there's so much info out there that has already been proven true, and one of the things that was rumored from those same people is that we're getting Smash, so I expect it'll pop up within, you know, maybe, maybe after the console's release, they'll be like, okay, we showed you Zelda, we showed you Mario, all this other stuff. They might be just holding Smash Brothers off for a little bit, since it, it did come out a couple years ago. It actually came out, you know, more or long longer ago than Splatoon, and I think did it? It came out before Mario Kart, right? Or is that? I can't remember for sure. Uh, but yeah, so it's funny that Splatoon was shown in the trailer. Splatoon's is very popular, so I can I can see that getting people excited. But uh, but yeah, not that Smash isn't. I think they wanted to appeal to like. The Japanese audience a lot. It's super popular over there. Anyway, so yeah, Smash Brothers. I'm sure we'll get it. My big hopes for it, though, since it's it's pretty much a given. But the the things that I want to see in it, I I'd be happy with just a bunch of new characters like Inklings, and uh, they're pretty much locked in, I'm sure. But the uh, the other things, I really I think I would be completely happy with the Smash roster if we had the uh, the Inklings, Ridley from uh, from Metroid and a Rhythm Heaven representative. Those are like the three three things that I'm pu pushing for cuz I'd like to see, you know, more villains from and representation from from Metroid. Rhythm Heaven has had so many games by now. They just had one that came out recently. I think they deserve a representative and then the Inklings are so popular. I think they would fit in with Smash. If we're going, you know, blue sky scenario, I would love to see a uh, another Earthbound character like Duster from Mother 3 or somebody like that added in or maybe one of the you know Kumatora or Paula some of the, the female characters getting in there instead of just having the main protagonist guys but for now I don't know if that's going to happen especially because we probably not get in a mother game anytime soon if at all man we're having having some trouble here tonight I know my connection's good the stream's going good I think it's just you know playing against people online. If you guys don't have the uh, the LAN adapters, that could be an issue too. But the uh, that's a good thing to invest in. Well, the Wii U is, you know, towards the end of its lifespan, obviously. But if you want to keep playing Smash a lot, I would say try to get a, uh, a LAN adapter 
for your system because then you get a direct internet connection instead of instead of having to use Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi is not gonna not gonna work so well in these matches obviously Oop, okay we gotta be careful here because Robin can chase us off stage somewhere little Mac does not want to go and hopefully we'll get ooh, nope I think I ate my jump already nope there we go oh wrong way there that's what I wanted to do an up tilt nope he's not gonna oh he followed me up there and he hit me with that Levin sword his lemon sword zesty oh he's throwing stuff down I know it's the le the Leffen's Levin sword not lemon sword okay oh is he gonna I think he might have fallen to the dreaded <laughs> latency all right. Yeah, hopefully we'll get a quicker match in here somewhere. I think we're just having some some connections to people that might not have the best. Oh, that. Yep. <laughs> That'll happen too. Just I think uh, Splatoon. It's just that a lot of the time I'm out of practice because I only play it once a week. Smash Brothers I actually do play this every day, and I do promise you guys that I'm a bit better than what's on display here. It's just the fact that it's going to be very tough to time anything when this is what's happening. But I'll try to bring this back. I want to give people chances to play, you know, even if you don't have the best connection. That was cool looking. Little Mac just punching through the pain there and getting through that arc fire. Oh, wrong way. That's not good. They know that I keep trying to use my... Uh... Oh, wrong way. He keeps punching through. Punching through the spells. Uh, but yeah. They're kind of rolling around me, because they know that I'm trying to get into a good spot here. Oh, can we get down and... Oh, that would have been great. Nope. <laughs> KO punch the wrong way. I'm probably going to lose this, because i gotta got to time this right against the magic man here. Look out. Ooh, jeez. Go. Oh, nope. Careful. Nope. Ah, I got hit by the lemons. I quickly grabbed the ledge there, luckily. Otherwise, that would have been bad. Nope. Trying to time a grab with little Mac online is not the best thing. Okay, he's trying to... He's trying to... Trying to do that dab. <laughs> he doesn't have the book. He's just going for those... Going for those little... Uh, artful smacks of the hand. Okay. Nope. That's not gonna work, and we're dead. Yeah. Well, that wasn't. <laughs> I'd like to like to do another one with Little Mac there, as you can see. Not the best timing to uh, to try to play with that much latency. But again, I'm uh, you know, I'm trying to. I'll be. I'm want to be patient with people that want to play, <laughs> even if their connection's not good. All right. Thank you, Quote. I feel like Quote. I fought him before with better connection. I don't know. All right. So let's get back into another match. One more with Little Mac, and I'll switch to a different character. I just really want to want to have a good match with the characters that I feel like I am a little better with. And then we'll move on to the characters that I'm not good with. <laughs> okay. So let me check the chat here while we're going. Uh, Shell wants to see what's going on with Stardew Valley. There's been a bunch of games that came out recently that I'm really enjoying playing. And uh, not that I'm not enjoying Stardew Valley. But I've been playing Paper Mario and Dragon Quest Builders, and I'm trying to keep those series going and keep them consistent till the end, because I know, you know, if I take a day or two off of a series, sometimes it's tough to get back into. So, uh, you know, I want to get back to some of the other series that have been waiting a little bit, like Stardew and Twilight Princess, so don't worry. Those are, haven't gone away, but it's trying to balance the new stuff that I'm excited to play and the old stuff that maybe I've already played before, like Twilight Princess. <laughs> Or, uh, you know, things that are on the backlog. I have been, even though you guys haven't seen it, I've been playing Tomodachi Life for the past month or so, trying to get my weird virtual baby. I guess that kind of kind of links in to Smash, because Little Mac and Mario and a bunch of other Smash characters are in my Tomodachi Life area, or uh, my uh, island or whatever. But anyways, I've been trying to get those, uh, th those Miis, those darn Miis, me... Mimi and my uh, and Danielle's me, my girlfriend, to have their weird virtual child, but it has not been working out so hot. I'm gonna have a really tough time here because this is like 
the worst matchup for a little Met. Well, maybe not the worst, but... Oh, especially when I do that instead of a side B. Uh, trying to fight, not only online, but Bayonetta against Little Mac here. Who, he's not, you know, maybe not the worst matchup, but it is really rough to play with such a uh, powerful character that can counter all of my really strong punches. And uh, have to deal with that. See if we can See if we can bring it back here after that SD. There we go. That's what you gotta do. Block those heel slides and hit them with the... Little Max really fast jab, because it is frame one. Oh, jeez. The only two jabs that are frame one, I believe, like, that come out super fast are Zero Suit Samus and, uh, and Little Mac. There we go. Oop. Okay. I'm starting to bring this back here. I just don't know if I can finish it up. Ooh. And... Oh, nope, not like that. And we're probably dead. Yep, jeez. <laughs> I wanted to finish on a strong note with Little Mac, but I feel like Bayonetta... Any character with a counter... Any any character that hits hard is going to have a tough time against a counter character. Bayonetta being... Bayonetta and Corrin, I think, are, like, the craziest counter characters. Corrin does so much damage. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I guess we'll do one more against the... I'd rather fight someone with Little Mac... <laughs> that isn't playing Bayonetta. There we go, okay. Let's fight Oliver with Little Mac. Uh, but anyways, yeah, if there's certain characters I'm like, okay, if someone has a counter, maybe I'll use Ness instead of, you know, Little Mac, because if I hit him with a super powerful punch, they're gonna counter it and just, you know, take me out so easily, especially Corrin. But Bayonetta has the witch time, which is, as you saw, gave her all the time in the world to take me out with that giant hair demon fist. Okay, <laughs> let's see. I want a good, I want a good clean match. No, I want a good, uh, not laggy match against. Hopefully, someone that I can do well against. Little Mac, he's so fun to play, but he has so many bad matchups. I feel like this is a counter character, though. Like I was saying, I don't feel like Little Mac is that great. He just did it. <laughs> he just countered. Luckily, I didn't hit him there when he did it. But yeah, I don't, I don't think. Uh, it's like playing Bowser or someone against a. Uh, a character that can counter if you hit them with one of those crazy powerful hits and they've got their uh, counter going. Tried to do an aerial with Little Mac. Never a good idea. The uh, yeah, the characters that hit really hard and you try to try to counter them, they are gonna be easy easy uh, pickings for that. Yeah, this is I, this is the same matchup I was just talking about before where I had such a rough time fighting someone. With, uh, with Little Mac against Ike, because they took me out with that eruption move. Even though, yeah, it, it has a huge hitbox. I wish I had a little clip from that to show you guys. I, I think I have it saved. I just didn't didn't clip it out for a video or anything. But, uh, but yeah, My, Ike's eruption. I almost said Mike. <laughs> Mike and Ike. Uh, Ike's eruption is uh, so strong. If you can time it right, obviously, you're going to take most people out with one big hit of that. He's thinking I'm going in there, and I was, but ooh, I'm not jumping over that. <laughs> okay, he's backing up because I've got my KO punch, but maybe I won't use it immediately. Nope, I lost it. Oh. <laughs> if I land with the counter too often, he's gonna see it coming, and then he'll... Nope, too early there. Jeez. <laughs> Getting this timing right is rough. All right, let me see if I can get in there and... Oh, I did miss that and then go in. <laughs> Uh-oh. I did miss the one and then I hit him with a jab and that was enough to count to trigger his counter. All right. Should not have gone for... He, he What did he hit me with to get me there? I don't even know. Oh, I almost fast fell past the ledge. I feel like I'm having a rough night just in general and playing here. And uh, I did mention... Uh, yeah. That's alright, I don't need to go into that. It's okay. I was gonna say, on the Splatoon stream, I mentioned the uh, the reasons why the uh, the Splatoon stream was delayed. But if you watch that, you'll hear that then. Alright, I'm gonna focus on taking this Ike out. And not try to have any excuses. Oh! <laughs> well, there goes one stock. <laughs> Got that one given to me. Okay, hopefully we can finish the other one off. Come on, Wispy! Keep pushing me into him. I actually felt like it extended the combo there. 
because Wispy was just pushing him right into me. Alright, got some good damage. 35% off of two jabs. That was pretty crazy. He knows that I'm... He knows that I don't really want to go up on these platforms as Little Mac, because I'm going to have to deal with... Uh... Oh my gosh. Well, that broke my shield, so... And... Uh... He knew that as well. Jeez. I hate this eruption move when I'm on the ledge, especially this little Mac. He doesn't have many options off the ledge. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Trying to throw out stuff he might not expect and then go for him, but uh not gonna not gonna work out how I want it. He's not gonna he's not gonna jump off of there because he's gonna <laughs> That was the not as powerful aerial KO punch, but I like that it hit at least, because it was funny. Oh. oh no. Yeah, we're in trouble. At least you guys got to see that. Nope. Well, we're dead. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, try it. Max recovery options, it's like, just go for the ledge. You're probably not going to be able to dodge anything they throw at you, because you can't really do much, or you're just not going to have the distance to get back. I like to see <laughs> Ike getting punched in the middle of the air and barely flying up with that KO punch. Alright, thank you, Oliver. I think it's time to switch off Little Mac after a bunch of matches and uh, trying my best to uh, get a win there. Didn't didn't work out. Okay. How about... Let me see. I'm trying to check the chat to see if there's character suggestions, but I might play Duck Hunt in the meantime and have a nice, uh, nice rebound victory, hopefully, off of that last one. Kevin. I don't know if we fought Kevin before. That name's kind of familiar. Alright, the five doctors that use Temi. We're using the closest to Temi, I guess. Because we have a dog here. What's a good map that we could go to? I kind of like seeing the uh, the Wind Waker map. in the You know, not the one that goes crazy with the ship and everything. Because that's, that's going to be causing a lot of problems online. <laughs> Trying to fight one-on-one -on -one is tough enough. When you don't have pirates firing at you and all that good stuff. Uh, okay, now the character suggestions are all pouring in. We got Olimar, Kirby, lots of good ones. I should try Mario, because I have him in the thumbnail as well. As long as we see a Mario sometime here, that would be good. But Mario, one of those characters that I, I know is really good. Don't play him that often, though. Okay, Shell says, I like Duck Hunt. That's good. He's my favorite, so hopefully you guys enjoy seeing him. All right, we're going to try our best here. I can already tell there's a little bit of slowing down. We got a Greninja trying to combo us. I was saying it would be good to uh, to get a win here, but I don't know if even with my most played character we're going to be able to pull this off. Let's try to get this going. And look out. There we go. <laughs> nope. That's not going to go the way that I want. Careful. Yeah, same same. Th Kind of thing with uh, th I don't feel as as bad with uh, with Smash at my playing performance, but I do know that a lot of the people we play against, especially in uh, in Splatoon, are much more experienced playing this game than I am. So it's gonna be back and forth. I get more wins in Smash than I do in Splatoon. I feel like though, but uh, Smash is uh, just something I practice a little more. I think that's the direct correlation there. Practice something more, you're probably gonna be better at it, obviously. But Splatoon, yeah, if I played that more than once a week, I'd probably do better than I do in most of these streams. There's just so many good S plus and uh, S, S rank players in the Splatoon matches that I have a tough time. Alright. At least in this, I can focus on one person, one little frog, and uh, make that my focus. I'm gonna take this frog down it's the last thing I do. Nope. Look out, buddy. I got my gunman here. Westworld tonight. <laughs> in the stream and on TV. Oh, tried to get in there with the grab, but that didn't quite work out. That's not going to work. Luckily, he's not. Luckily, he's not going in too much when I do my rapid jab. He's kicking my cans right back at me. Got those giant frog feet to deal with. Alright, going back and forth if Duck Hunt can actually finish this up here. This is <laughs> another reason not to, uh, jeez. Another character, maybe not as bad as Ness with some of it, but Duck Hunt 
when I play online, I have to deal with the fact that I'm not always going to hit my cans when I want to. But, you know, I can adapt and try to try to still do what I can. Oop. Oh! <laughs> he shielded that. Okay. Can we do this? Maybe. Nope. Rolled right into that. <laughs> okay, that was good. Thank you. I don't know if that was just a just a uh, canned response. Nope. That was a pun that I didn't mean to make. There we go. Okay. Can we get him? Maybe he won't expect that. Oh, he did. <laughs> he definitely expected it. Ah. Uh, yeah, Greninja. Every Greninja that I fight, I feel like they're just... They must practice a ton to get all those combos down. That should do... No, we don't have any rage. Duck Hunt. Someday, maybe in the, the Switch version, you will have more kill moves. There we go. All right. Almost 200%. Took him out. I mentioned that a lot, but that is, you know, just part of the character. He just does not have very many options to uh, to take down a stock. But I can rack up damage pretty well. Oh, careful. There we go. Oh, did not charge that enough. He got, an, he got far enough away where that didn't, you know, do much. Oh, hey, buddy. You want this? You're not going to get it because it went off. If, if, if you don't want it, then no one gets it. out. He's doing a lot of ducking and diving in. Pretty pretty, uh, pretty safe style for a Greninja. Usually I see them... Uh, oh, he's doing a footstool on me. There we go. Most Greninjas I see really are super aggressive, and he's he's playing a little, a little defensively, which is, you know, not how most Smash players tend to do it, but uh, seems like it's working out for him. Yeah, this is going back and forth a little bit, but I don't know if I'm gonna get this here. Nope. Oh, yes. So, so tough to uh, time anything online. I just felt like I couldn't punish that at all. There we go. All right, go, go, go. Saw where he was landing, but I knew I wasn't gonna make it there in time. Look out, buddy. Go, my pup. Go. You want that? You want that can? <laughs> you take it. I imagine Duck Hunt having like a an old grizzled smoker's voice for some reason. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can get this going here well enough to uh, take him out, possibly. Oh no! Oh no! Don't hold to the side. He would have won if this was a competitive match. There's a hit though. <laughs> right as we ended. Yeah, if this was a uh, competitive smash match, he had more percentage on me. Nope. Don't. Yep, that's why. <laughs> he would have won anyways, but yeah, he got in with the grab. Okay. Somebody spamming with Kirby. Maybe we could play Kirby. Good match to Cloud9 there. Um, Mecha said, Duck Hunt is the most annoying character. Actually, I, it's weird because if you play with a character long enough, you know them enough to deal with them. I feel like Duck Hunt is pretty easy to counter if you've played him a lot, but if you don't know all the timings of stuff or how all his cantrips work, I'm sure he can be super annoying. I find Villager uh, uh, more tough to deal with, but that might be, be because I don't play with him that often. Okay, so we'll try one with Mario. We're gonna fight Ness, it looks like. Let's play... I'll switch it up. Let's actually change his clothes for once. Let's be Waluigi. <laughs> Probably not going to get into Smash Brothers as more than an assist trophy, but who knows? I mentioned, I think in the last stream, that it would be kind of cool to have a uh, Waluigi or Daisy or one of those, you know, side characters that's basically the equivalent of Wario or Peach for the most part, and have them be the representative for, like, Mario Party and Mario Sports Games and all the, all the, the games that are, like, side games. Have a side character be the representative for that. That would be kind of cool. And then, you know, Waluigi uses his tennis racket, or Daisy rides a horse from the Olympics or something into battle. Okay. So, maybe Kirby after this, if I can remember it that long. So these matches are so intense that <laughs> by the time they're over, I have forgotten everything. No. Alright. Sorry, Chris. We're trying to get in here. There we go. Alright. So, Purple Mario sporting his, uh, I think that's 
also a reference to Waluigi, but also a reference to was it Thousand Year Door that you could change Mario's uh, change Mario's clothing color to oh I forgot he's playing Ness. You could change Mario's clothes to Wario and Luigi, and that with uh, some of those badges, and then I think if you combine the two, you got the Waluigi one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I have not. I watch a lot of competitive Smash, so. I know Mario players from that, but I don't almost ever play Mario, so it's going to be a little tough for me here. Hopefully we can make up for, uh, nope. <laughs> He's going for the grabs. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's see if we can get in here and do something. I'm going to charge this, because I know Ness's recovery is horrible. Oh, and that was enough to back throw already. Jeez. Smell you later. He's turning into Gary Oak. All right. Let's see. Don't make me regret playing a character that I'm bad at by just destroying me. It's probably going to happen, though. When your name is Ness, you got to expect him to be pretty good at that character. Oh, man. Oh. Mario. Yeah, I definitely play against Mario more than I play Mario. I feel like this is going to be a pretty quick two sock here if I'm not careful. Yeah, I couldn't even, despite the uh, the ending on that, just couldn't do anything to grab him in time. Yeah, he's a better Ness player than I'm a Mario player for sure. <laughs> I just can't adapt in time and do enough to take him out. No mercy on the streamer. <laughs> I was, I was talking about that in Splatoon, where it's like, the goal in the limited time period of a lot of players is to destroy me as quick as possible. Doesn't matter if there's an other objective. In Smash, obviously, you're trying to fight the other person. But in, uh, in Splatoon, there's like objectives, but people will actively go away from the objective to try to take me out, rather. Because that's the goal for them. Come on, Mario, I know that your forward smash is super annoying when it... Has that extra range. There we go. Let's see if we can do anything here. Nope. <laughs> He's not going to go for too many things. Oh, there goes some of the health that I got off of him. Mm. Come on, Mario. You can do it. I believe in you, even though I'm controlling you. <laughs> now I'm trying to play extra safe here. Nope. Come on, buddy. I always see... Yeah, his invincible up smash is so strong. He's just trying to go for a... He's just trying to go for the uh, the uh, throw at the ledge, because he knows if I run over there, he'll just get an easy easy kill on me. Hmm. Nope. That's not how I want to do that. I always forget Mario's forward air is his, uh, his kind of spike. That's one thing. Yeah, Mario and Yoshi, they have the spike as their forward air, so it's a little... Feels like a little situational to ever use that. This is a stalemate. So I don't want to get close to the ledge without feeling like I'm gonna get it attacked. There we go, I took a stock off. <laughs> Alright. Nope. <laughs> Immediately. That's one thing I yeah, the I'm sure players do that too, but the computer, when they respawn, there is there's like a bloodlust in their eyes where they go right after you and they really use that invincibility period. They'll run in and just like smash you like crazy, knowing that you can't really hit them to stop it. Yeah, they have that immunity. Alright, good match, Ness. And let's see. Tried using tried using Mario. Definitely not my character. <laughs> let's uh what's a character I can I'm gonna try to alternate. Let's use a character that I might do a little better with, like. King, where is he? He's different on the 3DS one. King DDD. We're going to try him out. He has some cool alternate colors as well. You can't really see his uh, Haramaki, but he has like the, you know, the ones with Waddle Dees and stuff on it. All right. XMGK Gamer X. Let's go. How about the Great Cave Offensive? Definitely not the, the giant one with all the crazy stuff, though. Okay. Here we go. He's picking his fighter. Play. Lots of people want to see Yoshi. That's another character that the forward air for Yoshi is a spike that uh, is a bit slower than I would want for a forward air. But, it, you know, Yoshi's a, another character that's good. Don't see too much of it in high-level 
or of you know him and high level competitive stuff but he's pretty strong and heavier than you would expect so Kirk, Kirby Yoshi Corin lots of good suggestions whiskey kid said uh, DDD and that's what we're using oh no he's taking me to a illegal stage and he's using the Yoshi we were just talking about this is not a good stage for uh, trying to play online against a single person. Well, I mean, it's not too bad. This was a stage that I think they almost considered being legal in uh, in tournaments, but obviously you can see the issues here. You can camp underneath the, uh, the plane wings and uh, do a lot of silly shenanigans. So, oops, that was not what I wanted to do, and I didn't mean to cancel it either. There's so much stuff that I'm like, <laughs> oops pushed that and it was online so it's gonna recognize it as me doing this thing f a bunch of frames after I wanted to do it Ooh. oh and we try it almost looked like we were just gonna die the one pilot turns away and he's like sorry guys sorry giant penguin and dinosaur you don't get to ride on me whoa what I just hit the bridge didn't I so that's also helpful <laughs> when you <laughs> when you have to deal with a uh, an overpass knocking you out of the way. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I played on this stage. I'm sure it was quite a while ago. Nope. Ooh, jeez. I did play a lot of these when the game first came out, but for now, you know, since then I've mostly stuck to stages that are a little less hectic. Let's get in there and do that, and... Oh, he's, go he's really going for the ground pounds. He wants to hit those. Oh. Oh, man. DDD, I have a lot of issues with trying to use his uh, forward tilt, and I do his uh, smash instead. Alright. Because I'm turning around and smashing the control stick too fast. Jeez. This Yoshi is being a little joik. There we go. Alright. Taunted me after he got his ground pound. <laughs> go, go, go. There we go. Alright. Oh. I'm gonna focus here, because he's gonna just go after his... Use his ground pounds to try to break my shield, I'm sure. DDD and Yoshi, these are both characters that... I've noticed when, when a lot of people play them online, they'll like go for a lot of certain moves. Like DDD, they'll go for his jump, and then if you... If you don't see it on the way, it'll just, you know, slam you over and over, and uh, potentially break your shield. <laughs> I probably don't want to do that, but as you saw, it hit him a couple times there when it probably shouldn't have. Oop, chase. There's that thing again with the smash. Didn't mean to do. Okay. Alright. I'm trying not to worry too much how I'm doing because I had an exhausting week and weekend. I just want to just wanna play and have fun with a giant fat penguin monarch on a, uh, on a ship. Oop. But, uh, but yeah. Thank you guys again for bearing with me if I'm not doing the best here. There he goes, ground pounding until it works. <laughs> if it doesn't work the first time, just keep doing it, and eventually you will hit the person because they're not thinking you would keep doing it over and over again. Oh, hey, buddy. Chill out with your ground pounds. There we go. It is interesting to see how many different styles of, of play people use online and how there we are I'll taunt you <laughs> uh, there's just a lot of yeah a lot of people will you know use one move over and over again a lot of people will just like smash over and over a lot of stuff definitely works online in for glory but won't work so well in person okay let's see here how about well, after DDD let's do Kirby because I saw a lot of people suggesting Kirby good match there although I hope never to ride on the wings of a plane while I fight a dinosaur getting out. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the a lot of those stages, uh, the part of the reason why I do stick to the competitive, like most of the ones that are played in tournament is because they are easier to focus on the fights and you don't have the frustrating death of a uh, bridge that the plane flew under hurting you and stuff like that. Okay, so we got Chris in here. Who was I? Oh, Kirby. Okay. Kirby. Let's play with a uh, weird Meta Knight Kirby. Who secretly, you know, Meta Knight totally isn't the same type of creature as Kirby. They they always tease that like constantly, where they <laughs> where they're like, oh, look at this, his mask is broken mysteriously. He looks a lot like Kirby, but he's definitely not. 
I think they've played with that so often, but obviously he's he's a similar type of weird thing that for some reason doesn't eat stuff and copy it. He, he eats things, I guess, when you have to heal yourself, but... Okay, I'm going to take a wa drink of water here real quick before we start. Cobalt Texas, Adam, what do you do to unwind? I don't really have actually that much time to unwind <laughs> because uh, I'm always working on stuff or eating or sleeping. Why did I do that? Um, so yeah, I, I do watch, you know, I watch stuff and, and try my best to, uh, to take breaks, but it can be tough, especially this weekend. I'm thinking about how it's, uh, it's been rough to, to find time to, uh, unwind, but I want to, I want to stick to, uh, you know, doing streams and, man, I didn't mean to do that. I want to stick to, you know, having the weekend streams and everything. I don't want people to think that I'm going to do something and then it doesn't happen. I try to do as much as I can, even if I'm tired. You can probably hear the exhaustion in my voice. But I, I can still do these cool kicks, and uh, I can still do up Falcon Punch, <laughs> even though I'm a Kirby. I love that. The Kirby with the helmet is really, really cool looking. He's got the Judge Dredd helmet. There we go. All right. Can we mess with him and uh, charge this up? Nope, that's not going to work. I know, I know that that's another thing that really does work online pretty well and will not usually work for offline circumstances. Oh, careful. Gotta be careful with the uh, the ledge there. He's going for a lot of these. Oh, what if I... <laughs> Alright, definitely something that would not work offline, so don't... <laughs> I don't blame Chris for falling into that, but thank you for letting a Kirby do his falcon paunch. When he says it, it sounds like he's talking about King Dedede's belly or something. Falcon Paunch. There we go. Look out! Ooh, jeez. Yeah, that was a bad idea to throw that stone out there when uh, wasn't the best time to uh, do that. Uh-oh. Kirby's got his rapid jab, too, if I can get it going. There we go. Oh. Mm, yeah. Ooh. Gotta be careful here. There we go. Stay in the stone form, Kirby. Do not get out. And you got a Captain Falcon trying to hit you with his crazy elbow. Nope, that's not going to work. Careful now. Oh. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I know Kirby, he's definitely not at the percentage for it. But Kirby has like a kill throw. His up throw, I think, will actually kill. He was buffed so much compared to some of the other characters in this game. Some of them have been basically untouched, like Mario and Jigglypuff. Mario, I think, untouched because he's just really good and pretty well balanced, but Jigglypuff untouched because uh, I don't think the developers really are worried too much about trying to fix the issues with her. Nope, that was too far away. <laughs> trying to finish with another Falcon Punch is not the best idea, I'm guessing. Oh, let's see if we can get him with a back throw. <laughs> if we took if that took you off the ledge, that would be pretty funny. Mm, he's not falling for that either. Oh, Kirby trying to survive this long against Captain Falcon is uh pretty amazing here. There we go. All right, look at him. He's so happy with his, <laughs> his helmet. He just like plopped into the ground like he was planted. Okay, good match there, Chris. Maybe I should play Kirby more. He just has a lot of good tools, I think, since he's been buffed so much. Very strong, but very light. All right, how are we? Uh, how are we gonna finish up this stream here? What do you guys want to see? I know some people have been wanting to see Olimar and Alf. Let's do one with that character, one or the other, since it's been a while since I played Alf or Olimar. I kind of like Olimar a little better. I think he's got more personality, but I don't have anything against Alf. I'm excited for Pikmin 4. Speaking of the Switch, I'm sure that'll be on the new system. That might even be a launch title, cause. I mentioned in the Splatoon stream, the uh, the people who know or knew a lot about the Switch before it was even revealed and had so many predictions that were right, you know, basically inside info, they did say that it's going to be Zelda, obviously at launch, Breath of the Wild, the new Mario that we got a glimpse of, and then two other games. I think Pikmin 4 is going to be one of them, so hopefully we'll see that soon. 
There's so much stuff. There's a lot of things that I'm going to want to play with you guys. So, you know, please look forward to it. If you aren't subscribed yet, hopefully you will soon here. There's a lot of good games on the way. Is uh, you know, not as much stuff in the, uh, at least Nintendo-wise, this fall. But yeah, it's going to be crazy in March when that comes out and we got a bunch of launch titles to play. So I'm excited for that. There's other stuff that I want to play this fall, too, though. Like Last Guardian. That's not on, you know, that's on PS4, but... And then, of course, yeah, Pokemon and stuff like that. Oh, this guy. This guy here. I recognize that yellow Kirby. Because he's, uh... I played him before. Oh, no. He took out two of my Pikmin in one swoop. He's probably like, I'll show you how to do the do the Kirbys. That's not a dance that most people... No. <laughs> there is the, like, song about drawing Kirby, but I don't think there's the... Not, not like, do the Mario or anything. Careful now. I lost my guys. I thought they were going to be with me there. They weren't. My little Pikmin. Careful now. There we go. Oh. Nope. He's trying to trip me. Yeah, I'm, he knows a lot more about doing... Yeah, I didn't really do any of the down tilts to uh, to trip and things like that that I should have with uh, with Kirby. I love his, his little expression when he gets grabbed. It's cute. And he's like, oh, geez, not this again. Careful now. Whoop. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can get some Pikmin onto him. If we're careful here. There we go. Got the blue. He's going to use that stone on me, though. Alright. Yeah, both very light characters, so i got to be careful here. Kirby is real light, but very powerful, like I mentioned. But, of course, Alf and Olimar, I think they're around the same weight as Fox, Pikachu, and Duck Hunt. So they're, you know, they're so tiny in their games. Kirby and Alf and Olimar, I think, were, like, sized up, because Olimar and uh, the Pikmin are the size of dimes, if you use, you know, American currency. And uh, Olimar and Alf are the size of quarters. I remember that from the uh, the instruction manual. There we go. Uh, and then Kirby is 8 inches high, so he's definitely bigger than these little guys. I think... Oh, thank you, buddy. Uh, I think Olimar and Alf and the Pikmin are like the str the smallest Smash characters by far, but uh, but yeah, Kirby eight inches high. He's basically like a plush toy, and uh, ooh, there he goes, those strong kicks. Um, and then DDD I think is like a little bit bigger. It's a yeah, they gotta be adorable if they were real. They're so small. There we go. The blue is the one you wanna throw with. Cause they got the extra. I think they do a little bit more, ha you know, knockback for their throws. Not mean to throw <laughs> my blue. I was just talking about him, and then I threw him away on accident. Oop. Careful now. It's getting me in all these combos. Jeez. Well, there's the hammer that I tried to do before. I settled for the falcon punch. Careful. Oh, my gosh. Did I die from that hammer because I was trying to whistle? Let's be careful now. We've been granted another lease on life, <laughs> and I <laughs> used it up because I didn't hold up and my Pikmin weighed me down. All right, at least I died with my little buddies. Okay, final match here to finish up. Thank you guys again. Let me know if you have any, you know, any other questions about the Switch or you don't want to know my thoughts on stuff. Let me know in the chat because I talked about it at length during the Splatoon stream, but I also wanted to comment on it a little bit. And like I said, I think Smash has, has got to be on the way. It's just a matter of time. And uh, I am curious, yeah, what a, I probably forget a lot of characters that could make their way into Smash that people would want to see. I'm, I'm hoping that uh, the ones that I mentioned get in, but if they don't, you know, wouldn't be the end of the world. I think even just an enhanced looking running Smash would be good, but I'm sure they'll add new characters. Even though we have, look how many characters there are, <laughs> this is insane. There's like, was there 50 or so? There's so many characters, it's surprising. Oh, sorry, Mr. Cheese. I wasn't thinking there. We did fight Chris already. Angelito. We haven't fought them before, I don't think. Let's try it. I am going to use Little Mac here. I said the final match, but I think... Oh, ah, it wasn't SD. Hopefully they... Or not SD. FD. Um, hopefully they pick a different stage, because I accidentally went to the normal boxing ring. I'm going to see what you guys want to see for the last match. I went back to Little Mac without even thinking, because I was like, I want to redeem myself from those other matches. Hopefully we won't have any lag here against this person, and uh, let's see, Lucas, villager, lots of villagers, okay, we'll finish up with the villagers, and then, uh, or the villager, there's a bunch of them, but we'll, we'll finish up with one of them, 
There's like eight, obviously, that you can play as. <laughs> All right. I'm exhaustion is setting in, and I think it's affecting my uh, my cognitive speech and play function. But we'll keep <laughs> we'll keep going here. It's not like a robot. Cognitive speech play function damaged. All right. So An as soon as Angelito chooses a stage, hopefully he'll pick one that's a little better balanced here. So many people trying to get in. Oh, we lost someone. Actually. Oh, can I? Yeah, let's get out of here. Then I can pick a better stage. And then we'll, uh... You know, I played enough Little Mac earlier. I don't need to play Little Mac. We'll do Villager. And we'll finish up. Let's see. We're gonna jump in here. And try to get into something with somebody. Because it felt like we were about to start and then something happened. He might have lost connection. This is the Villager that I like to play as because he, uh... Oh, we could fight Joshua, Joshua, dude. This is the one that when I played City Folk, I answered those questions, and that's the one that I got. So I do like using that one. Also, I just think he looks good, you know. He's got a... That's a good-looking kid. He's he's uh, He's got a lot of fight in him. His, uh, yeah, he's got the little hair dulip, which is uh, the most accurate compared to most of the other villager hairstyles from my real life, so I kind of like that as well. Okay. Next, I wonder if they... So, yeah, I was about to say, this villager is based off of the City Folk and Wild World villager, because all the, all the character skins for this are all the defaults from that. But if they do another Smash Brothers for the Switch, are they going to be... Are they going to look like the villagers from the... Uh, the... Whatchamacallit? The uh, 3DS version? I can't even think when I'm trying to get away from this. Dragon Boy here. Hey, get out of there. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough match, I feel like, if I'm not careful. Have one of those. He's not gonna fall for that. Yeah, I've been practicing with Villager more, but I don't know if it'll work well enough to uh, do something here. There we go. Yeah, I have to be careful with the axe and the uh, bowling ball and all of the stuff that I, I have in the villager's arsenal because it's going to be tough when somebody can counter stuff with the power that Corrin can counter things. All right. Try my best here to uh, not not do this little guy wrong and get the win if I can to finish up. Well, oh, nope, jeez. You guys are so good online and I'm just like I feel like I can never play quite to 100% when I got to deal with uh, looking out for uh, the delay and everything. Go, go, go! Maybe I'll grab one of those if I get the chance. Oh, he wants to counter that, but what if I don't give him the opportunity because I jump into his uh, thing on accident? There we go! <laughs> that tree is so powerful, the timber move. Have one of those! Yeah, see the villager... Duck Hunt has a bunch of stuff. Didn't mean to jump on there. Duck Hunt has so much stuff in his arsenal, but I feel like the villager is even crazier with this. He's got so many things he can throw out at you and make it super annoying to deal with him. Probably could have back thrown him there and maybe have gotten it, but, you know, live and learn. That's what Sonic taught me. Oh, careful. There we go. Yeah. Villager just plays so well at the ledge, because he's got all this stuff that can keep you away. Ooh, can we get him? Forward throw is not as strong. Yeah, I was going to say, I know that. Oh, nope. Ah, shouldn't have unshielded there. Playing it safe here, and we got it even percentages now. There we go. That's another thing. Villager has way more kill moves than Duck Hunt, even though he's got a lot of similar types of projectiles and things. He's got, like, he can wave a stick around in the air and still take him out faster than Duck Hunt can. Here we go. All right. I know Joshua Dude usually seems to play Lucas, so he might be playing Corrin so that we get to see Corrin in the stream a little more. I think we had a Corrin earlier, though, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, I'm getting into it here. I think I'm doing a little better than earlier. Adapting. This is a similar play style to Duck Hunt, like I mentioned, so I think I do okay with uh, trying to use projectiles and things. Oh, 
Look out, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's all like try to keep try to keep him away with the uh, the many many things that you can throw at him. Throw at him, at him. That's my name. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, oh! I hit him with the tree, but it was not worth it because that dragon lunge took me out. Oop. Oh, oh, too far away. And I revealed my trump card there. Go, go, go. Yeah, whenever he does that, just gotta go for the go for the net. Put him in the museum as a uh, as a display. I was joking that the Switch trailer had somebody taking uh, taking their Switch to a party to kind of show how easy it is to just pick up your gaming stuff and uh, bring it with you. But it was funny that. Imagining someone bringing a, uh, a, a console to the party and then having have just like playing the single player game or something would be really funny. Like uh, bringing their Animal Crossing town and then just like showing everyone their bug collection or their living Pokedex. I was joking about that on Twitter. How it's like get rid, you know, the party's getting started. Everybody buckle in. I'm, we're all gonna learn about every single bug that I have in my museum. But obviously they want they're they're trying to highlight the. Uh, the multiplayer element. Oh, careful now. Yeah, that is, that's not something that I want to mess with. That dragon lunge. There we go. Have one of those. And then, is that going to be enough? Probably not. Oh, so close. Ooh, trying to dig that there. Oh, wasn't enough. I have the percent advantage, and I have a giant turn up as well. So, I don't know if it'll do me any favors here. You want some of that? You want some of that tree here? I know the villager can, uh, can out-camp in a lot of ways. <laughs> there we go. Lloyd got it for me. Give him the old one-two. I'm not Little Mac, but at least I have punching gloves. Thank you guys <laughs> for watching. <laughs> Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. There's my fossil. I'm going to send that to Blathers to get identified. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. I'm going to take a much-needed rest here, and hopefully I will be rejuvenated for our next stream. I want to thank everybody who joined in, watching and playing. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.